Hey, what's up, everybody? Happy Friday, Live Wire Whiskey, day 10 on the Advent calendar. Um, please, everybody, check out livewirewhiskey.com. Uh, get your latest Live Wire merch. We have our ugly Christmas sweater up there in the corner. And we also have awesome hoodies, like what Stahl's wearing there. Um, yeah, we got, we got some shirts on there. We got an awesome uh, water bottle. But yeah, check it out. Also, shout out to our patrons. Appreciate all you that support us on there. If you're interested, please check it out. It, the link will be in the description. Awesome. Uh, Mike, oh, by the way, I'm Adam. This is Mike over here. <laughs> Uh, we are live. Where I we got that on on my last one, so yeah. that's all right. So what we have is we have a wheel. This these eight days we just did one yesterday, which was one of my like kind of favorite recent picks. Um, we have one. Uh, we have seven left on the wheel. We have four secret picks that Adam sent me, and three picks that we know what they are that I sent to Adam that we'll share together, and. With that being said, we're going to give the wheel a spin. Yeah, let's see what comes up tonight. And see what comes up tonight. Make sure you comment down below what you did that is kind of in the same arena with what we're doing for our picks. These are just yeah. kind of random ones that we have on our shelves that we love throughout the year. And uh, ooh. ooh, CYPB. So we'll find out if... How many of you guys are really excited about us doing the CYPB bottle? So <laughs> we know that it, it's a little it bit of a your hate in the comments. It's kind of a thing for a lot of folks, but it it is it is what a lot of people chased, and I think it's it's sort of like the Blantons of Weller almost. Um, you know, everybody chases it. You know, people have heard of it, then they get it, and they're like, hmm. I'm not sure that this is better than the other whiskey I've been drinking, but we're going to check it out. Adam's never had CYPB, so First. we're going to pour this tonight and see what it is. So, Yeah, pour pour up your favorite Weller expression yeah. or Buffalo Trace, whatever. What's your favorite Buffalo Trace? That is there a bottle that you chased and then you drank and you're like, WTF? So the yeah. proof on that, so the CYPB is, it's supposed to be for create your perfect bourbon. And it was a project that they did with voters, and um, I, I don't know all the hundred percent of the details on it, but it was it was kind of an interesting project. I think last year it might have won Bourbon of the Year for some of the magazines, but either way, it I, I think most people thought it was really just the marketing that made it win um, because you get it when you compare it to even other Weller products, and it's like same thing. It's a Weller product, but this guy is forty seven point five percent so 95 proof yep so uh good starter bourbon for tonight anyway and it does i mean, I mean it smells good like i don't yeah, know it's, really well. it's it pretty good doesn't remind me of other wellers um it's got something different like granted i am using a glass that may have been used already <laughs> yeah so Basically, a few years ago, they asked whiskey drinkers to craft your perfect bourbon online by visiting yourperfectbourbon.com and choosing their ideal bourbon recipe, proof, warehouse, location, and age. Thousands chose weeded bourbon, just like William LaRue Weller did years ago. This limited edition resulted in an overwhelming consensus, the weeded recipe bourbon aged on the highest warehouse floors for eight years and bottled at 95 proof. So this Weller is an eight year bourbon and it that's is a weird. Age. That's, that's a good age on it. Yeah, um, it's going for a sip, buddy. Mm. Cheers. Kind of swallowed that first one fast. That's why I went back in. So you definitely get the, the wheat. Yeah, the weeder from it. It's good though. It's really good. Uh, it really almost tastes like a watered down antique because there is like no heat to it at all at ninety five proof. It's super easy to drink. Yeah, I get a lot of just Buffalo Tracy, like almost like an Eagle Rare, um, yeah, cherry or something on there. 
Cherry, I don't know if I'm getting cherry. Maybe I should get cherry. I'd be better at this. In the end, it's good. I think I might like this better than Eagle Rare. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I mean, it's higher proof, right? 90 proof for Eagle Rare? Yeah. Yeah, it's... What, do you think I'm just a proof substitute? Is that what you're trying to say? I'm uh, pretty Could sure be. we established that, buddy. Yeah, I think we've already gone through that. <laughs> no, I do like... Uh, I, mean, I mean, I like it. I think... I, I don't think it's a matter. I don't think what turns people off on this is whether or not they like it, because it's not bad right kind of like i think for most people with blanton's they get pissy just because of what you see it on secondary how hard it is and how hard people chase it i mean yeah, they were that's... calling this kind of a unicorn bottle last year just because nobody had it nobody could find it and then you got it and you searched so hard for it and they even reference william larue weller on the back although it was the guy not the bottle but still you're kind of like you're hoping for something that antique collection you know, grab you whiskey because uh, I, I mean, I paid s sort of paid over MSRP for this, but not ridiculous. I want to say I paid like 150 bucks for it, I mean, $125, $125 for it. So it's not like I I broke the bank buying it. You know, when you saw it, you're like, oh, holy cow. Yeah. When it was going for a thousand at the time on secondary. Yeah. Um, most stores that have them, I think it's like what, three, four hundred usually. Minimum. Yeah, now it's. I think it's coming down just because people understand it's not worth that. Yeah. Maybe on the initial taste, I think it's definitely better than Special Reserve, and it might compete even with uh, Weller Antique. I'm gonna blind the three at some point and see how it stacks up. Yeah, I, I agree, and I I think my favorite Weller is probably still foolproof. Um, so that's. You know, that's a little bit easier to find than CYPB, obviously, because there's pics of it and stuff like that. But Maybe in Colorado. Yeah, yeah not necessarily where you're at. Nope. But anyway, no, I'm glad I have the bottle. Um, you know, I don't really save it. People see it and they want to try it just because they know the bottle. But, you know, in the end, I'm not drawn to drinking it all that often, and I don't feel bad when I do. So Yeah, I appreciate you uh, sharing a sample of that. That was a good one to try. For Thanks, sure. man. Absolutely. All right, everybody. Well, cheers. Let us know if you're drinking a Weller tonight or today. Make sure you check us out Sunday night. Uh, we are going live and uh, we appreciate you. Make sure you like also like and subscribe if you haven't. We always forget to say that. We kind of take yeah. it for granted. It does help us when we uh, you know, get recommendations as we try to grow the channel. Um, we appreciate every one of you guys, even including and especially our patrons. Cheers, everybody. Check out our lives. That's where all the fun really happens. Mm.